On Monday, September 18, the top diplomat of the European Union expressed solidarity with France's ambassador to Niger, who is under intense pressure after refusing to comply with expulsion orders from Niger's military leaders. We also reiterate our solidarity with France over the situation of its ambassador on the ground, full solidarity with France and full support for President Bazoum, Joseph Borrell told reporters on September 18 following a meeting of the bloc's foreign ministers on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. After sacking the elected government in late July, the military that seized control on July 26 said it was expelling Ambassador Sylvainit. However, the deadline of 48 hours passed without Paris recalling him. The former colonial power then declared that it did not recognize the Putschist authority. The military junta of Niger announced that it had revoked the diplomatic immunity of the French ambassador and ordered the police to expel him. The visas of Sylvainit and his family have also been revoked. President Emmanuel Macron stated a week ago that the ambassador was it being held hostage in the embassy, surviving on military rations after the military ceased delivering supplies. Josep Borrell reaffirmed the bloc's of full solidarity with Mohamed Bazoum, the elected president of Chad who has been under house arrest with his family. The senior diplomat of the European Union praised his courage and determination. Burrell stated that the Europeans concurred on the need to reassess their strategy in the Sahel, where France has led efforts to defeat jihadists for many years. We need a new strategy because our environment has become much more complex, he said. We insisted that African solutions are required for African problems. Burrell recently informed the European Parliament that the European Union has spent 600 million euros on civilian and military missions in the Sahel over the past decade, educating 30,000 personnel of security forces and 18,000 troops in Mali and Niger.